what it is. Welcome to another episode of Long Car Live. It's been a minute. I see you guys in the chat. Welcome in. Got a very exciting episode today. I've actually been looking forward to today's guest coming on for quite some time. My boy JD, who we just talking about. He's like 30 minutes down the road from me here in the 916 Sacramento area. We're going to be on set today talking about his baby, talking about his project, talking about something pretty awesome in my opinion, Nutted Society NFT Poker Collection, which will be dropping very soon. All the details and everything you need to know about it will be talked about on today's stream. We're also going to talk about our first uh, experience of meeting each other many, many, many moons ago here in the Sacramento area. And um, yeah, today's gonna be a very informative, very awesome, uh, you know, very, uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a great one. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Um, like I said on the intro video for today's podcast, poker and NFTs merging into one with this collection. Love to see it. And I do have to give a full Disclosure, um, I am a part of the marketing team for the Nutted Society Collection. I am not a financial advisor. Do your own research. And today's broadcast and everything that we're going to talk about with the Nutted Society is purely informational and meant for educational purposes. So with that, let's get one of my favorite human beings on set, Mr. JD, a.k.a. King's Full, as you guys know him on the Twitch streets and the Twitter streets. Let's get it popping. Let's get it going. Thanks to all of you for being here. There he is. There he is. The man of the hour, JD. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Yo, <laughs> do I look mad? <laughs> Dude, that's my uh, starting face. <laughs> you look awesome. Welcome in, man. How you doing? What's good? Um, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Hello, yeah. everyone in the chat. I, I, I said it before he came on. I love the blurred out background behind you. It's awesome. It's a good effect. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's it's better than seeing the clutter in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Full. Okay, so guys, now you know JD is is a hoarder. Okay, he's blurred out all the stuff behind him. <laughs> uh, a hoarder of many poker things. Um, so I have poker chips in the back, poker books in the back. I probably should have showed it actually. So, but you guys already know. You've been uh, some some of you have already been on my stream and always see the background, the shelves full of stuff. So, yes, but, sir. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Happy to have you, man. Like I said, we've been talking about this for a minute, and here we are. The mint. For the Nutted Society is coming around the corner very, very soon. And before we jump into the Nutted Society, which we're going to be obviously talking about for the majority of the show, let's talk to everyone about how we met for the first time here in Sacramento area, uh, JD, over at uh, yeah. Folsom Lake Bowl card room here in Sacramento. Yeah, um, so that was, uh, so yeah, the Folsom Lake Bowl, if anyone has ever been to Sacramento, um, just 20... 20, 30 minutes down the road, uh, there's this little bowling alley slash poker room that, um, you know, that I I played there pretty often because the, the games are pretty soft. And I think that's the same reason why Mike was there, too. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I've seen him uh, seen him play a couple times. We didn't really know each other. And I saw him one time. Uh, I think the game was just kind of uh, breaking and uh, it was late in the evening. And I saw Mike just uh, at the table. And uh, there was no one on a blackjack table and there was no one else there at the table, but there were four or five spots filled with chips. <laughs> and uh, and I was like, dude, what is this guy doing? And I wasn't I'm big into blackjack or anything. So I was like, what is this guy? What is this? And then I was like, hey, bud, what are you doing? He's like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing some blackjack. I'm trying to, you know, he was saying something like I'm trying to make it happen. And I loved his energy, same energy <laughs> as, he, as, as today. And uh, I just watched him for like a good half hour, 45 minutes. And uh, he dude, he was when when he when Mike commits, he commits, man. I'm That's telling right. you. That's right. So, so. I, I was actually banking blackjack. I was actually that was back in the day when I used to bank 
blackjack. A lot of a lot of people don't know this, but in the state of California, there's Indian casinos on Indian reservations, and then there's California card rooms. And on California card room side of things, like if you go to Commerce, if you go to Commerce Casino, for example, they're like the biggest non-Indian California card room that there is in the state of California, one of the biggest yeah. casinos in the world. And well, the most action, should I say? And if you look, if you notice at any of their blackjack tables, you will see someone sitting on one of the seats at those blackjack tables with a badge, and they are not employed by the Commerce Casino; they are employed by a third-party company that is oh, yes. the bank. They are the bank. And the way that it works in California, if you go, if you go, if if any of you ever go to Commerce, you can bring a stack of cash, and you can take turns and alternate hand for hand by being the bank and covering the player's bets with the person with the badge. So that's what I was doing. I was being like a banker for blackjack and silently rooting against ev- it's it sounds awful, but I was rooting against players, you know, I'm the bank. So I'm, rooting, I'm 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 giving but that's the thing though. Is I'm giving high fives to people when they win $500 from me, and then I'm silently giving myself high fives when I win the 500 of them. So it's a, it's a crazy ecosystem, but that's how that's how it goes. Um but yeah, so uh, you know what's funny about that, Mike? Yeah, is that even back then that tells that that tells you guys a lot about um, about a person, right? Like, like from just the way that Mike was describing that was telling me like he not only plays a game, he makes sure that he does it the best way possible, like that he controls. In, in a way, he tries to control the outcome as much as possible, right? So even like that's not being not that not being poker, that tells you that this is like seven years ago when I saw him doing this. But he made me think, man, this guy like he's doing this in a way where he can have like he's thinking strategy. So even back then, like I know he's been playing poker for a long time and he's told you stories about, you know, when he was in college and he was, you know, multi-tabling you know, 12, you know, 12, 14 tables <laughs> way back when, like that's the same concept, right? He always thinks in a way uh, where he has the best edge, right? And, you know, that's, that's the thing that I love about this game is that that's the type of, that's the type of like, I guess, gambler that we are, right? I guess in a sense, right? That's the kind of, that's the, those are the type of games that we try to to get into is the ones that we can actually have strategy. We're not just, we're not just playing games just to play it recreationally. We're, we're there to win. Right. Yes. So. Yes. And obviously like, I know I knew like, obviously as, as, as a banker for blackjack, the odds are in my favor. I'm the house. Yeah. And exactly. I'm going to have a good time. I, I was doing that like a number of days a week. So it was like a long-term thing for me at the time. And I was okay with the days where I lost 2K and I was obviously happy on the days that I made 2000, but obviously I'm always trying to like make people feel good and have a good atmosphere and have a good environment and, you know, win or lose, it's all about having a good time and, and there's nothing worse. You know, there, there is a dark side. There's a dark side to casinos and poker and this and that and, and, and kind of like a bad energy sometimes. And like, I always try and make that good energy override all that. And yeah. keep everything happy and keep everything good and keep everything. Because obviously everyone loves poker and not, unfortunately, everyone can't be a winner in poker. And I feel like the, you know, the, the win or lose, if you have a great time, that's what it's all about. And there's people out there that will even openly admit like, yo, I know I'm a slightly losing poker player, but I enjoy the game. I enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the camaraderie. I enjoy the atmosphere. And so why not have a great time, win or lose? You know, that's that's the way I feel like if you bring that mentality into kind of anything you do, obviously it'll make you happier, but also it just makes everything more enjoyable even when you do lose, if you have the right mindset. So anyways, right. yeah. It's like max value, right? Max value, hell yeah. But yeah, man, yeah, it was about seven years ago, man. Seven years ago. Yeah. And unfortunately, <laughs> Folsom Lake Bowl poker room is no more. Tanked, yeah. I kept Sad. visiting too, just hoping. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. They sold their gaming license about a year or oh so ago. God. COVID, COVID shut them down basically. So now there's no more poker room in between the bowling alley and the sports bar. I haven't even been in there since. I got to go in there and check out how it is now. But uh, yeah, that will be forever. Like rest in peace, Folsom Lake Bowl. My favorite card room. Yeah, definitely forever. It was one of my favorite too. The stories I have from there is are just endless and ridiculous. You can only imagine a card room literally located 
a three table card room located in between a sports bar, which five or six, seven years ago, that was like the party spot on the weekends. That, that was, was the spot. spot. That's if where you were I met 21 a lot of to, if you yeah. were 21 to 30, that was the go to spot dance floor, blackjack, open bar outside, bowling yeah. alley, gambling. I mean, that was the spots. So like, I got stories of guys peeing on the ATM machine. Like, just, like, crazy stories. Like, I can't even tell on stream because I would just get crucified. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's good times. Met a lot of good people, a lot of good friends from there that have been lifelong friends from that place. So, rest in peace. Yeah. Folsom Lake Full. Rest in peace, yeah. <laughs> so, let's hey, focus Mike. up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to let you know, too, um, something I, for, I forgot to mention, but a lot of you also um, showed a lot of support to this tweet uh, that we, we made. Um, I actually, uh, in your DMs, um, I sent the tweet to you, and uh, basically it was a tweet that uh, giveaway to where we're giving away fifty dollars in ETH dur- uh, during this show. Yes. And if you're verified and you're on the whitelist for the Netta Society, um, you we will double it, so a hundred dollars ETH. And um, oh, we can we can post that here in the chat. If you haven't done it yet, you might be able to get in there. But there's uh you know a lot of pretty good great response there there's a nice video there we'll be playing that video here during uh the during the long car live with long car yes and um so yeah good luck to good luck everyone and uh if you don't mind um mike there's a, a really hype song that we always play during drawings okay and so before we do that drawing if you don't mind and i link that in your dm too there's a song there that i think would be great Okay. Uh, it's a pump it up song, and I think uh, I think we'd enjoy it. Yes, I love that song so much. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. I actually found that song for the first time. Uh, it was like on a Bitcoin video on uh, about a month, about a year ago. I love that song. We'll we'll, we'll get that oh, going. Really? We'll get that okay. going, guys. Stay tuned. We always got the good giveaways here on Long Car Live, so stay tuned, yes. guys. Yes. So I could sit here and just rap with you all day and just talk about life. And one thing I've always loved about you, I, I feel like. There's so many different types of poker streamers out there. There's like the actual like poker bosses. You know, you got the guys that are just making hundreds of thousands every year and are just, it's amazing to see the poker plays they make. And you're like, wow, like as good as I might think I am, like they're a level or two or three above me. And it's like hard to grasp the ace high call they just made on the river right there or whatever play they're making is. And then there's what I like to call the super positive amazing atmosphere entertainers and you are one of those guys there's very few and far between guys i feel like just always have that positive energy and that thanks man super motivational energy where it's like oh like i'm always gonna feel good in this stream you know like it's love you're it. one of those guys and i've always loved that thanks about man you. for real man you got that positive flow i love that so much and you know what guys i uh <clears throat> mike i'm glad that that like you bring that up and it's not one of those things where i'm like Oh, stop, you know, like <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I, I embrace that, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's no reason why I wouldn't want to say flex that at all. Yes. Because why not purposefully be a positive influence or bringing positive vibes to the space of Twitch poker? There's not enough of it. Yes. Um, so yeah, hell yeah. I'll claim that all day. So if you, and that speaks the same to this stream right here, man. I love it. I mean, well, how, if you, if you look throughout the duration of all the streams that Mike does, he's always smiling, right? The, the mood is, is groovy, man. I love it. And, you know, I've been watching Mike for, for a while now too. And he's an inspiration to me to continue uh, keeping that that positive vibe because that's that's what's contagious that's where that's where i want to be why wouldn't you want to be there you know what i mean yes um and and mike talks about like crushers and stuff like that mike's a crusher too so like the the combination the combination of crushing and and positivity you can't beat it so much love to the the long call crew also much love, brother. Much love, man. And yeah, we could, yeah, because if we just talk, we could just like ramble all day long. I love you so much, man. But let's let's get into it now. Let's get into Thank it. Your you, baby, man. your project that you've been you've been working on for quite some time. The Nutted Society NFT yeah. poker collection. What is it, and what caused you to create it? Tell everyone, tell everyone about it for everyone out there that doesn't know what it is. It's 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 much more than just a digital piece of art, as beautiful as the art is, in my opinion. So just tell everyone about it. Yeah. 
Uh, I'd love to. Um, so the Nutted Society, first off, we came up with the name the Nutted Society because, dude, it's it's such a it's a poker term, right? It means the best, right? And so, you know, as I, you know, I've been I went through a lot of different like concepts in my mind um, <laughs> in the very beginning before the project was birthed. Um, <clears throat> I did some massive, massive like dive into uh, into crypto. And it was it didn't even involve NFTs, and so I dove into crypto. I uh, I've known about crypto. I've bought Bitcoin. Um, I bought it years ago, and I had a little bit of it. And then uh, just for some reason, this past year, I was like, you know what? And I think it had to do with the pandemic. I had nothing else to do but look up a, <laughs> look up crypto. <laughs> I was like, what can I do online? Well, let's invest some money into some crypto dove deep into it i don't like to invest a lot of money into things that i don't know a lot about so there there went my journey into diving deep my wife was like why are you like always looking at crypto these days i'm like because that's the future honey it's like that is that's where it's at right now so dove into that started buying a lot of crypto then i said you know what there's just so much knowledge here that i feel like i started talking about it in in streams and there was a lot of people in in uh, in my personal streams and uh, you know in like in the Discord that they didn't know a lot about it either. You know, they kind of just touched the surface. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive deep and I'm gonna teach my my folks, my peeps, about it. What I know, I'm not I'm never gonna claim to be an expert, but I'm gonna tell them what I know. And so as I dove deep, I then realized there was you know NFTs. Once I realized, uh, started noticing NFTs, I was at the very beginning, just like how everyone is, skeptical about NFTs. And I told myself, this is ridiculous. Like, whoa, this is like this. People are buying the same thing that a lot of people said. People are buying JPEGs for hundreds of dollars, hundreds of thousands, actually thousands of dollars. And, uh, you know, so I kind of clowned on it no joke clowned on it and i actually did it on stream i clowned on it a little bit <laughs> with the gary v, v v friends i looked at his stuff you know you i don't know if you guys are familiar with very, uh, gary v stuff but i clowned on it a little bit but then after i do dove way deep into it man i realized like there was some potential and the passion that i had for at that point poker and crypto i started to develop this like weird feeling about nfts I was like, well, let me look into this before I start talking about it more. And uh, man, kind of fast forward a little bit, I started like falling in love with NFTs. And so th from there, I decided, what is it that we can do to allow poker and NFTs to become something great? Is that possible? So I explored it because I didn't know if, if it was. Then I found out about the snails and then I started talking to John and I was like, this is really cool. So that's where it started, Mike. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Like when I first, you know, started learning and, and discovering NFTs last year, I was making fun of it too. I was making fun of, wow, people are buying this little picture of like a hundred thousand dollars. Like that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like literally that's <laughs> the dumbest thing, thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> right. Right. And I understand, and, I, and, and trust me, I understand <laughs> when people have that notion now of like, man, this is like, this is the dumbest thing ever. I'm buying a JPEG that I could just like screen record with my computer program and just have it on file. And you're spending a hundred thousand dollars the same thing. What, what is wrong with you? You need to get checked into a mental institution because this is so dumb. Yeah. But, yeah. but, and here's the big, but big, but it's a lot more than that. And there are yeah. a lot of entities out there that that's that's all they are. It's it's a JPEG, and there's no utility True. behind it, and you're just going to be the owner of this digital piece of art, which in itself is, once you really think about it, it's cool because I I still have my box of basketball cards in my closet from when I was seven years old, and I maybe pull them out maybe like once every three years, take a look at them, put them back in the box. They're gone. Whereas I actually do own a few NFTs that don't have any utility. They're just pieces of art. And it's kind of cool to have, you know, I mean, everything's digital this age, you know, this is the phone, everything's the computers, digital, everything's baby. digital. 
So I look at those a lot more often than I do the basketball cards. But the thing that I have come to the conclusion of at this point in time, obviously I came across NFTs maybe a year ago or so. It's 12 months or so ago. Now I'm very interested in exclusively only, and this is just me, not financial advice, do your own research. For me personally, I am interested in NFTs that have utility, NFTs Mm -hmm. that give rewards, NFTs where the community is a community that I want to be a part of. It's, it's, Oh yeah. It's, it's a lot more than just owning a basketball card or, you know, uh, an online collectible. You are also a part of a club, you know, every single, just about, I think every single NFT collection now has a discord channel and there are members Mm -hmm. of that community that talk to each other and hang out. And it's like, yo, like this is like a club. It's a group. It's a yeah. camaraderie. It's a it's a tight knit thing, and so to find NFTs out there that look cool as hell, mm-hmm. give rewards or benefits on top of the actual physical piece of art. Let's go. And to me, finding those will have value in the long term. It's not just gonna. It's it's a lot more than just a p- digital piece of art. Um, you know, it's finding yeah. those NFTs that give rewards, give benefits, give things to the owner other than just owning the art to me is what is very special and what will make them valuable for the long term. So that's what I'm looking for. Now. I'm looking for 100%. NFTs that have rewards as well as the amazing community and amazing artwork and all that. Because honestly, there's there's so many NFTs out there that have amazing art. Like there's there's, yeah. all, there's like unlimited now, like cool art, whether you like the pixelated art so or... Many. Uh, you know, advanced art that you can tell someone took a long time to make. It's not easy to find NFTs out there that have tremendous benefits and rewards on top of the art. And that is what I am interested in at this point. And that is why I'm so high on the Nutted Society collection. And obviously, obviously, for me personally, I'm trying to find everything I just described that are also connected to poker. And so when you told me about your stuff... I'm not going to lie, like right off the bat, you know, because you were just starting to tell me about it on the phone call uh, a couple months back. Yeah. You're like, okay, NFTs, poker, art. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be just yeah. another like, another like little thing. And then another when you, one, when you yeah. started to tell me about your ideas of the rewards and the benefits mm-hmm. and the group coaching sessions mm-hmm. and making the NFT holders better at poker oh, and man. having an exclusive club. I mean, all that I was like, oh, oh, this is not just art. So, yeah. For those of you out there watching and don't know about the Nutted Society, JD, I want you to tell everyone about why you think that these have long-term value and what the benefits and rewards are going to be from being an you know, NFT Nutted Society holder. You know, it's so exciting to hear you talk about it because I hear myself talk about it so much that it's like it's nice to hear someone else talk about it too. And so, man, I'm like, I'm getting like really vamped, like just amped to hear you talk about it because I am so excited about this. This is like the feeling that I have about poker when I first get on, sit down and ready to play poker is like the same feeling I have about this community that we're, we're building. Um, you know, the greatest thing about this is that, um, you know, uh, when, I, when when Mike was talking about how, you know, he's looking for more than just a JPEG. Mike is speaking, I would say, literally for all poker players. OK, here's the thing. As a poker lover, as Mike is a poker lover and all of you out there that love poker, you poker players are the toughest group to convince to take your money instead of putting it into a poker tournament and putting into something else when you could put it into a poker tournament we are a group that's most difficult to convince okay and i love that because the reason why is because we we think we think about things um as far as rewards as return on our investment. Mm-hmm. And so I thought to myself, 
for me, just to let you know, I am actually a digital artist and I've been, uh, I've been into drawing and doodling and really great things. Uh, I, I won contest competitions as an artist when I was a little kid. Oh, that's awesome. And then, um, and so like when this happened, I was like, oh, this is cool. But to be completely honest, I wasn't like impressed with a lot of the art that I saw out there. <laughs> so I was like, ah, this is kind of bullshit, right? Um, and it kind of, you know, so anyway, so that kind of turned me into like, started getting in my mind, kind of turning and saying, I want to make art that I could be proud of. Thus, my hunt for artists uh, that could create, that could partner with me, because I'm, I'm also lead, lead of the creative team and making sure things look the way that they should. So just touching on the part of like the art stuff i wanted to make sure that i was proud of the art that was being created this is original art this is uh from scratch and so the stuff that you have also a lot of you have seen it already but and we're going to show you guys a couple videos today that's going to kind of show you um not just the art but the things that you can expect uh for as a return on you investing into the collection um again if you're not easily convinced, that's great because you should be convinced. You should be convinced about what you're getting for your money. You can go to the website, thenetisociety.org. I'm actually displaying that right now. Can, displaying the NFTs yeah, on the site.org right now. Hell yeah. You can not, not only will you see art there that obviously you can see some very, very easily recognizable pros. There's, uh, there's one that I like the most and he, wait, is that, is that an NFT right there on the screen? Oh no, that's Mike. That's actually Mike. No, that's <laughs> Mike. I, <laughs> Don't get confused. Um, you, <laughs> I got confused there. Cause uh, I mean, they look so good. Um, but, and you know, I'd love for, for Mike to show his NFT also, if he can, he can, if he can pull it out. I'll actually uh, send you that too, maybe during the video. But Perfect. the thing about it guys is I'm going to talk, we're going to talk um, about the NFTs and the, the rewards that you can get. Just there's just so much to talk about and so like limited time that we have, but we do have a home game after this. But we're gonna push that home game a little bit because this is this is very important. Um, we're going to we're gonna tell you about the things that you don't want to miss out on because if you love poker, then you're gonna love the Nutted Society because not only are you investing in not just a JPEG. You're investing in a community of poker enthusiasts, grinders, a community that can be can gather in one place and really not just enjoy a community, but get better. The basis, the 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 foundation of the Nutta Society is about getting better. And so one of the biggest things that we've uh, implemented in here from the from the get go is that if you are a holder of this collection, you automatically get weekly coaching seminars. You get to be part of weekly coaching seminars from pros, coaches for a minimum of two years. OK, that's, that's just for holding one. That's amazing. That's dude. insane. That is, that is insane, honestly, because, you know, obviously I could tell you that, too. Obviously, uh, you know, I know myself and a couple other, you know, top level coaches. We charge two hundred dollars an hour. That's what I charge right now. I charge minimum. I, actually, I charge two hundred. <laughs> I charge two hundred fifty an hour right now. That's my if you want to hit me up for coaching. I charge two hundred fifty an hour. That's what, and I'm, I'm not and I'm not looking for I'm not looking for that. I'm not I'm not even I don't talk about it ever because I, I have to I have too much on my plate. We're like, I'm honestly debating whether to just raise that up because I just it's just I have so much stuff you know what's, I've going on but like you know what's awesome point, about the point, that Mike? the point is is other coaches out there charge 200 to 300 an hour yeah because that's what the information that we give is worth and our time yeah. is worth and we there's gonna be night be, and day and there's gonna be poker. very top yeah. level coaches that are equal to or greater than me for sure they're gonna be a part of these group coaching sessions on a weekly basis for two years giving out group coaching session and knowledge for just being an NFT holder of this collection, I mean, two years of once a week. That's, I'm sorry for interrupting, man. It's, it's insane. It's insane. It's insane. And and Mike here, I, I mean, you guys know Mike crushes it. Okay, he crushes it hard. He has a he's like a triple threat, right? You come in here, you know, he's he's easy on the eyes. 
he's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's great at the game. Right. So he, te he teaches you how to crush, right. Uh, just by watching him. But the thing about it too, is that Mike here, this is what, this is something we've talked about in the, in, in, already in the past. I'm not putting him on the spot. Mike believes in the nutted society and he is part of our team and he will also be part of, he's going to be investing his time also in the poking, uh, in the coaching seminars. Yes. So you guys are going to, there's definitely, there's at minimum, at minimum, you're going to get to see how, how Mike dissects the game and you'll be part of that as a holder on top of, you know, I don't want to name too many other people, but I am going to say that, um, you know, at the very beginning, before we even mint, we've already had coaching, a coaching seminar with Faraz Jaka. He, he was, uh, it was amazing. It was an amazing session. It was free to everyone. And uh, just a taste of the things that we're already investing in the community prior to minting. So minting, after minting, and by the way, minting means purchasing, making, actually picking up an NFT and that becoming yours. And it becomes, uh, it, it's, it's ownership of the NFT and the, the stamp, the signature of it, um, ownership of it is on the blockchain. So there's not one NFT that you mint that someone else will have. Okay. So I'm excited about that. That's amazing. And talking about, let me pull it up here. Boom, 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 boom. Does he also do nudes? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on now. Settle down now. Settle down. So obviously, the after show. This information can be found on the nuttedsociety.org, which is the site that I'm looking at right here. And obviously, it's a lot more than just the coaching seminars once a week. As it says right yes. here, if if 25% of the mint is sold, 25 Blue Shark Optics uh, glasses will be yeah. given out to holders. If yeah, but also on top of that is that if you are a multiple holder, if you own at least four of them, you automatically get a pair. Oh, now sick, these, okay. Yeah, so there's some additional things. We're continually adding and adding adding value to to our holders. Like, we're not even done. Like, this is, there's just so much that we could put here in the amount of time that we're, that we're allotted to where we're just, we're continually updating this. So multiple owning one gives you a lot of benefits. Oh, ho holding multiples, you're going to get uh, a lot of additional um, value also. And so if, if 40% of the mint is sold, 15 of you that are an NFT holder of one of these pieces well, so as, as there are 15 $1,000 Ethereum winners and 30 TNS, the Nud Society apparel winners, 60, if 65% if of the mint is sold, there will be a Nutted Poker League, a $20,000 oh, guaranteed fire. prize pool, free roll on America's card room for obviously TNS holders only. And then there's also going to be a 5K All Star tourney from that free roll if 85 percent of the mint is sold there will be six nft holders of the nutted society collection six of them will be drawn to win a five thousand dollar world series of poker package so thirty thousand yes. dollars in total between those five between those packages and if the mint sells out i pray to god the mint sells out just because of this just because of this there will be a minted out party that will donate thirty thousand dollars to charity. That party will go down in Las Vegas. Yes, and uh, you know, obviously, I hope that goes down, man. That'd be so. That, I'm so excited about that. So, obviously, to say the least, you are in the poker world. They call rake back. You're giving massive <laughs> rake back, as they say. If this does sell out on the mint, and obviously, on top of the group coaching sessions and the fire art. I think a lot of you can see why this is a lot more than just a JPEG and why this is exactly the type of NFT that I look for that has the utility, the rewards. On top of that, I already know a lot of people personally that are excited about this that want to be a part of this club. And yeah. it kind of touches all the all the points I look for when I personally look at NFTs. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to touch on a, on, on a couple things. Um, one of the things... Um, 
you know, I think we there's a there's a video that we'd like to touch on too when we when we talk a little bit about the um, the nutted society, uh, the nutted poker league, which that one, I'm going to say like, I'm super excited about that. Probably that's like at the top of the things that I'm excited about because who doesn't want to be part of a poker league with a $25,000 prize pool? Um, yes. I mean, it's, it's going to be sick. Um, but one of the things that you touched on the, uh, $15,000, uh, that we're going to be giving away, um, for holders, if you, uh, for every, NFT that you actually own counts as a raffle ticket towards that. So the more NFTs that you owe, hold, that the more opportunity chance that you get to be picked in that fifteen thousand dollar giveaway. Um, same thing goes for you know these the the other things too. Uh, if you uh, in the Nutted Poker League, when we when we have that, um, if you have multiple. Um, NFTs, you get to pick. We're going to choose the teams based on, um, you know, the pros that you have. So we're going to say the Maria Ho holders, the Phil Locks, and the et cetera, et cetera, Michael Longcar. They're going to be in a team. So you actually get, you get, a, you get to pick. You're going to say, oh shit, I got, I got every one of those. Which team do I want to want to be part? Of? It's going to be so fun. This is not just something that's a really great return on investment. There's going to be the secondary market that's going to be fire, and there's a lot of things to touch on, and it's it's going to be exciting. Um, so, look forward to uh, just really talking to people about that, and uh, and really, really informing people about all the things, uh, all the rewards that you can uh, reap from being a holder. And so, obviously, this kind of is like a perfect blend into the question that was asked in the chat a second ago by Dope. Do -si do what's up, man? He says, what is the average cost of these NFTs? So there is going to be a whitelist VIP presale mint, and that will be on March 17th. So in six more days, six days, mark your calendars and the price Excited. on those are going to be 0 0.12 of an Ethereum. Let me pull out my uh, my coin gecko app that I use. 20,000 times a day, literally. So whatever okay, the maybe, price maybe 20, of ETH 20 is times, today. 20 times a day. So like the 20, because ETH is lower, lower right now. So it's important to say that as, as Mike is doing that math, using his fingers and toes, um, it's, it's good to buy for all that are like, know a little bit about crypto. <clears throat> it's good to buy low, right? So look at where the price of Ethereum is today. And you want to purchase it while it's low. Not financial advice, but I mean, it's kind of com. It's it's like common sense in a sense. You want to buy low. You don't want to buy high, right? So buy it when you feel like it's a good entry point. Because if you do plan on buying an NFT in the future or buying anything in the future, you don't want to buy it when the price of Ethereum goes up. Because then you're buying it at that price versus the low price that it is today. So Ethereum at this exact moment today is... Friday, March 11th, 2.04 p.m. Pacific time. As of right now, Ethereum is $2,575 per Ooh, Ethereum. <laughs> and 0.12 of an Ethereum, which is going to be the price on these whitelists, as of right now, that's about $309. And so obviously, if Ethereum goes up, then the price will go up. And if the price goes down, then the price will go down. It's all based on Ethereum. Um, and then... Yes. How... Uh, so JD, so obviously I know a bunch of people are going to be thinking to themselves right now, like, well, how do I be a part of this VIP whitelist on March 17th? So why don't you tell people how they can become a part of it? Because not just anyone is going to be able to access the March 17th not everyone. Uh, whitelist. Correct. So how do you become a part of that? So the whitelist is, uh, is super important to get on if you plan on being part of this, because one, you, uh, you, you, for sure get an nft um public is going to be a gamble in case the goal <laughs> the absolute dream is for us to completely mint out uh sell out the entire collection um right away right but to be completely honest with that it's like we're not going anywhere poker is going to be here so it's going to mint out. I'm so confident it's going to mint out, but we don't know when it's going to mint out. It's going to depend on 
uh, how many people are are buying pre-sale versus the public. And so the minting the the pre-sale VIP in order to get into the whitelist, that's all the same thing. VIP whitelist. We're calling it two different things because there's kind of some terminology in this in two different spaces, but they're all the same thing. To get onto the VIP, the whitelist, uh, there's a few ways you can do it. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, if Mike is okay with it, we're going to give some whitelists out here in the chat. Yes. So that we're going to do because you guys are so cool that you're part of this stream that we'd be happy to give out. Uh, we'll raffle off uh, 10 whitelists out to the chat. And um, if uh, and then we'll go into that a little bit further. But you get early access at the March March 17th is the whitelist. March 20th, if you didn't buy on the uh, whitelist or you're not on the whitelist, then you can buy on the public sale, which is March 20th. That's when it's open to everyone to buy. Okay, you get to buy it at point one two, which is 12 percent of whatever ETH is at that time. Okay, on the pre-sale. But if you're if you unfortunately are not on the whitelist, you could still buy it along with everyone else at 0.2, which is 20% of what uh, Ethereum is. So it's almost double the price. So you want to get on that whitelist, especially if you're looking to buy more than one, because you're going to save a ton of money for something that is super value. And uh, so I'm excited about that. And so a very important question to answer, how many poker players are featured in the Nutted Society and how many total NFTs are there in the Nutted Society collection, JD? There are 40 total uh, pros, heroes, if you will, that are on the um, that are in the collection. Um, of the 40, there's, uh, if you math, you know, you kind of do the math there, that only leaves about uh, between 40 to like 50 different variations of each. When I say 40 to 50 is that some of them, some of the pros may have more variations than others based on certain criteria, uh, popularity, you know, that type of thing. Like, um, um, so there's going to be a 2000 in the collection um, that'll be mintable. Okay. And so uh, there's going to be very popular uh, heroes in the collection that span from heroes that are that you know from like that are kind of like celebrity uh, type like from like poker stars and from like poker after dark people that you know that are very well known I, I will go ahead and do some name drops there's like some some fills I'm gonna say there's some fills <laughs> in there that you uh, can look forward to and then there's um, also uh, uh, there's also heroes in the collection that are popular in different areas of the poker industry, um, such as Twitch. Um, you know, I think that it's very important that when I selected these uh, specific heroes is that I, I chose from different areas in the industry that all have contributed to what poker is today. So... So if you guys are curious about like why the selections were made, I've decided to do from old school to new school, from celebrities in different areas to, you know, inf people that have influenced the game um, online, offline, those type of things. So there's uh, definitely a, a variety. I love it. I love it. And uh, I got to take a screen. I'm getting my I'm <laughs> I'm trying to get my uh, my blue hat NFT that I want so bad. <laughs> oh, let me link you that real quick. <clears throat> I got it right here. I got it right here. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay. I'm okay. trying to get it here to display here. Hold on one second, guys. One second. Screen grab. So, yes, I am a part of this collection. And uh, I want I, I, I told you, I was like, can I get this somehow? He's like, you have to buy it, bro. You have to buy it. So, oh, man, he so, tried. So there's so there's gonna be so I'm a part of this collection. I'm I'm honored obviously to be a part of this collection. Uh, but yeah, this is my blue hat NFT, which I took yeah. a screenshot of as you can see on on uh, on his stream a couple weeks ago. Oh, zoom in on that, brother. I zoom wish in I could, on. I know I'm trying to zoom in more here. Uh, let me pull up this one over here. How like good does worst. that look? You guys recognize that blue hat too? Like all this stuff is uh you know current stuff, man. Like we. Let me help you out here with a little bit in case. I'm just the worst with this stuff here, like the technical stuff. Uh, I need to figure out how to zoom that in. I'll, I'll just uh, let, me, let me do this. Let me take a, Let me take this. 
do a little gazo screenshot and then we'll put that link in the chat for you guys to take a closer look at but uh we'll put that in the chat right there but yeah it's 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 sick man i love i love obviously i'm so honored to be a part of this like that but uh yeah it's good stuff man it's very it's it's amazing art you and you and your other artists are amazing man very very Thank well you, done man. on the art i appreciate it yeah it's a it's definitely a team effort you know the the artist which he's going to be revealed on the um on the website also we're going to have a team link so you'll be able to see um oh yeah by the way uh, mike i need a bio from you <laughs> okay um because mike's very much uh, a part of um you know the this team and um and you know his his feedback on, on about this project has been instrumental and so i, I just want to let you guys know that you'll be able to um learn more about the team what's very important to and i want to touch on this briefly but at the same time it's super important is that when you are if since you're new to nfts it's really important to know that there are nfts out there that are not good Okay, there's projects out there that are not good. Okay, that means that there's projects out there that are not going to give you value. There's projects out there that are money grabs. There's projects out there that are going to just not be a good investment. So with that said, and I don't shy away from this because for me, it's important to be transparent. Okay, that's the number one thing. And that's why Mike is on this team because we believe in these things. We believe in being transparent. We believe in um, making sure that you are comfortable with your investment. That's why I chose um, Bet on Drew. You guys know Drewski. That's why he's in it. So imagine the people that um, have known me for a long time know that um, I'm very much about community and you know, I've been a part of the uh, ACR Stormers for cl getting close to three years now. And then there's, you know, uh, teammates of mine that are putting their face on this, their name on the line here to say that, hey, this is a trusted project. Um, uh, America's Card Room Pro, um, you know, Michael Longcar, as well as uh, uh, Ben on Drew, like they are helping create this, make this, this community, this project, something bigger and better than any NFT out there. We plan on being the poker NFT for y'all in the future, the future of it, man, I'm telling you. And we have a lot of things in the works. And so it's, those are the things that are important. And so I just want to make sure that to kind of emphasize on that, we are one we are a project that you you know the people behind it and you can trust it. Okay. And we're looking out for you. And one of my favorite quotes, like just life quotes, uh, you know, that's, it was when I was on your Twitch channel um, about a month ago and you were talking about Nutted Society. And I, I wish I would have remembered who it was that said it in your chat, but he said, don't invest in projects, invest in the people behind the projects. That's awesome. I think his exact quote was, don't invest in projects, invest in people. And yes. obviously, it's one of those thoughts. It's one of those statements where he, he, I saw that in the chat, and I was sitting here in my office, and I was kind of doing some other work, and I saw that, and I, I, it made me stop. It literally made me stop what I was doing it's and just kind of sit there for a second. It's such a beautiful And think about that statement, quote. and it's just such a true yeah. statement, and it really is. It's such a true statement. I, I really, I really, that, that statement really kind of hit me hard because mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. And I do have to say, again, I'm not a financial advisor to your own research, but no finance, yeah, me neither, it's not financial way. advice. And I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again that yeah. this, what we're talking right now, I'm not advising anybody. I'm not advising anybody, neither is JD, to buy one of these NFTs. This is an right. educational, informative NFT session where we're talking about this project. And if you, on your own opinion and on your own judgment, decide that, yeah, this is something I want to be a part of. I like the group coaching session. I like the rewards. I like the art. This is awesome. That is your decision, your decision alone. And obviously, this is all informative, educational purposes only. Um, yeah. But yeah, we yo. We touched like, on like some of the big items, man. We haven't even touched on it. We have not to touched touch on, on the big that. items. So let's get into the yeah. big items, man. Let's get into it. Yeah. 
Um, so at the end, I think towards the end of the stream, we can pull a winner for that uh, that Twitter giveaway. But maybe we can uh, lead off with a uh, a video. You think? Let's get it going. Yes, let's let's let's, go. let's check this out real quick. Slide on over here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's go. Let's go, man. There you are. Let's check out a little. Let's check out a little video here real quick, guys. Let's see the video. Oh, I don't hear the sound on it, by the way. Can't hear it? Let's see, maybe there is. Oh, it is on there, sorry. That's sick. That's a nice video. Nicely done, man. Nice editing right there. I like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. So talk to me. Talk to me about. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, that video there is uh, is pretty is pretty great. That's a that's a, one of our hype videos. I thought, hey, you know what? Let's uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw a little uh, sneak, a little sneak peek there of lock there with that gold. That, that that gold outfit that's gonna be a sick one um i think there's there are a lot of people told me like they want that one and so you're gonna see a lot of ones out there that um just as far as like talking about like tradable like if anyone here has ever played um you know was into the baseball trading game or basketball uh, or football uh um trading cards um sports cards or even like magic magic the gathering type of stuff like you guys will remember that you know people people that was very popular with when it comes to like being uh being collectible being tradable this is no exception this is no exception but this one is for the poker community right so if there's one out there that you like, man, I'm telling you, and and that's why I was talking about uh, Mike, Michael Uncle Mike was telling me the other day when I showed his NFT for the very first time, <laughs> uh, the the one with the blue hat, because I told him, hey, dude, there's a blue hat. One. I want I the blue hat so hat. bad. I, I want, want it so hat. bad. So you hear him? You guys hear Mike? He wants it so bad. So what that means is the secondary, let's talk about the secondary market real quick. Imagine having an NFT that someone like Mike Longcar wants so bad. Sorry to call it. Sorry to say. Sorry to say this, Mike, but imagine you picking that up and knowing that Mike wants that one. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. He hit me up. He goes, uh, he's like, JD, I want that one, and I was like, I. That's great. He's like, no, I, I I'll buy it. Like I'll buy it, and I was like, I, I, you're gonna have to buy it just like the rest of us. Dang you know it. what I mean? Dang you're gonna have to mint it. He's like, and he laughed, and he's like, no, I'm serious. And I'm like, Mike, I'm serious too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so just know that uh, if you have one of those, it, it, uh, not saying that it's a flipper, but it, it's potentially can make you some uh, some return a little bit. Just so you know. If you get but, the blue um, hat, slide in the DMs. Slide in the DMs. Hit me up. We'll wait. We'll, we'll figure something out, maybe. <laughs> yes, that is a so, rare one so there so is know. the there is the there's the whitelist march 17th 0.12 yes. of an eth you can get you can, be a, you can be a part of the whitelist I, I would say my biggest recommendation is click on the discord link for the nutted society and that's the yes. easiest way to become a part of the whitelist is to become an active chat member over on the yes. discord channel that will gain you access into the whitelist and will also answer any question that you have at all that for whatever reason is not answered by us right here on this podcast. Oh yeah, the whitelist. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't touch a lot about that. The whitelist. So you can. Uh, we have a home game after this too, and we have it Wednesday, uh, Fridays, uh, Wednesday, Fridays, and twice on Saturdays that I host. Uh, I'm hosting one today, tomorrow. But on Drew is going to host the double, the two back-to-back home games. And uh, if you make final table 
on his both of those games, you get on the whitelist. If you make top 12, today's is top 12 one, you get on the whitelist. And uh, we have ETH giveaways, that type of thing. So those are ways to get into onto the whitelist. If you're at, like Mike was saying, if you're active in the community, you get to level six. Doesn't take doesn't it casual conversation is still enough, even with six days left. You go in there and you're just active. You get to it. People have grinded it and it's not, it didn't take them but a few days to get into it and just regular conversation. They hit it. They got on the whitelist. And so again, being on the whitelist is huge because you get, you get, uh, you get to buy it for um, almost, uh, I would say like, it was at four, four, 40%. Uh, yeah. 40% yeah, point one, two versus Point to yes, yeah, forty percent. This is about forty percent off. Yeah, so that's that's an amazing value. Plus, you guarantee to get one in case it just mints out completely, like right away that that same day, or maybe within the next couple, with the next day. Who knows? Who knows? But um, I'm really excited about that. And then we're also we're gonna go ahead and give away some uh, whitelists also today. Um, about those home games too. The ones that you all have been participating in is just a taste of what's to come in the future. That's not going to be available to the public all the time. All those, all that ETH, all those prizes, all that community that you get to participate in, that's going to be mainly for holders. We are going to still have weekly home games that will be available to the public, but four or five, we're going to be doing about five home games a week. Only one of them is going to be public. The rest of them is going to be for holders. So there's a lot of value in being a holder on top of just uh, being the, the home games. You'll be able to participate in the Nutted Poker League. If you want, there's that other video. If you wanted to play that other video about the the Nutted Poker League, Mike, yes. is that a, do you have that available? Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Thanks, Elvin. I appreciate that. JD rocks. I'll take it. <laughs> you guys are great. What a great audience. So just to answer, just to, just to touch on a couple things I'm thinking of, just yeah. to be clear, the yes. whitelist, March 17th, 0.12 of an Ethereum. JD talked about how you can become a part of that. Join the Discord channel for all your questions. And just to, you know, if, if you're interested in this, I recommend joining the Discord channel. If yeah. you miss out on the whitelist for whatever reason, mm-hmm. the public mint, which is available to everyone, is March 20th at 0.2 of an Ethereum, which right now is approximately uh, a little over $500 on the current price of ETH. And if you miss out on both of those mints, like JD talked about, then that is when these will be for sale on the secondary market. Secondary market, yeah. And that's going to be interesting interesting to see Mm -hmm. the day and especially like the first week that these are on the open market as to what people are kind of basically rendering these at the value of, of these as, because obviously yes. that's going to kind of dictate at least, you know, it's going to give a base of like what these things are worth in people's eyes. And yes. obviously just for like anything out there, anything in the world, something is only as valuable as someone deems it and is worth, you know, worth, you know, deems to pay for it. So it'll Absolutely. be very interesting to see what, the Ethereum slash US dollar value of these go for on the secondary market um, the week following March 20th. And that is yeah. actually, and just to be clear, if you if you mint one, whether it's on the whitelist presale mint, the VIP mint, or the public mint, it's, it's a gamble. You're not going to be able to choose which 
person you get. It's going to be a yes. random slot machine pull. This is what you get. Yeah. So if you, you don't know what it, pro you're going to get, you have it. If you have it set where it's like, I only want a Phil lock NFT and don't want to have any chance of getting something else. Or I only want this player from the collection. Well, then you're going to have to wait until they come out on the secondary market. And you're going to have to be willing to pay whatever people are deeming them for sale as. So just to give yeah. you guys a clear answer on that. The mint, yeah. both the public mint and the VIP whitelist mint, you do not get to choose which exact piece or which exact player you get. It's going to be a random pull, if you will. Yeah. And then, and then we could talk in. value, too. I yes. mean, that's a that's a great subject to talk about. Uh, let's talk about value, right? Obviously, value can be subjective, right? A lot of the times it, it is subjective. Um, these NFTs that you purchase at the very bottom, as far as value that you get from owning one, um, regardless of if you get a, uh, I guess you could call them more common ones. Uh, the, and then there's the ones that are more rare, the ones that are kind of like super like, you you could tell, you'll be able to tell which ones those are, okay? Uh, let's talk about the commons versus the ultra rare ones, okay? So everyone will be minting. When you mint it, you're going to get a um, a kind of like a, um, a default image to show that you own it. And then we'll have a public reveal, okay? We're going to all review. We're going to all reveal it together. And um, so when you purchase one and you mint one, if you get let's say just a com let's say it's a common one right even though all of them look really cool the common ones the value is still that you get to get everything that's included in the roadmap you know you still get all the value when it sells at certain percentages if it's mints at 100% you still get to be invited to the uh mint out party at the uh at the end of world series uh event where you know all the other pros that are in the collection by the way all those pros that you see on there they're all invited okay um one of one of the i'm going to do a, a little name drop here because it's okay i've already talked to him joe stapleton had many many conversations with him about this collection had a drink with him he came here into sacramento did a, a get a uh uh host uh he yeah he he actually was part of the the show uh comedian commentator joe stapleton had a drink with them talked to him about the the net society he loves it he likes and retweets our stuff um he's one of the things that he wants to add that we don't want to even even have on the roadmap is that he wants to do a show uh a before the show meet and greet with the net society that's in uh, end of May. I haven't even told Mike about this. Okay. May 20, 28th, he's going to have a show. And he says, hey, if there's anyone in, uh, in in Vegas that's part of the Net of Society, have them come in. We're going to get you. You guys get to go into that, into that show for free. You just let me know that you're going to be there. You get into that show for free. It's going to be sick. Um, you know, so Joe Stapleton also says, hey, man, I'm excited about that party. He's going to, you know, since he's he loves the, the project, you know, he told me, he's like, I, you know, I'm going to try to get other people, uh, the other pros to let them know, hey, I'll, I want to be there. So you, the, the thing about it is not only is it a party, but you potentially could meet the pros that you have that you purchased there and get to, you know, so it's a really, really cool event that's going to involve not just a party, open bar type of situation, dressing up. But you're also going to meet some really, uh, really great celebrities that you've maybe only seen on television. You're also going to meet some really cool people like hopefully Mike can be there. You know, I know Juice, Juice is going to be there. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm not in the collection. A lot of people ask if I was in the collection. I am not in the collection. I just I can guarantee you it's not even a surprise. OK, but um, I, I, I do appreciate you guys asking if I'm in it. But the thing about it is. Um, if you own an NFT, regardless of any one that you get, you're still going to be able to reap the reward for all of the things on the roadmap. Okay. And you can check out the roadmap at the society.org. Now let's talk about the other end of the spectrum. There are certain NFTs that you get, can get, and they're randomly selected. There's 15 of them that have a key. It's a really cool key. It's, it's very noticeable. If you do mint it, if you have, 
collect three of these things, it, it's going to unlock a special NFT that's going to reward you at minimum $2,500 in ETH. The If you do unlock one, uh, at the, the biggest prize one is that um, if you are able to collect the three keys, you'll be able to, uh, that will double, uh, the NFT that you get will double as a $10,000 main event entry, which is sick. Hmm. Uh, someone's going to have the opportunity to go to the main event by just unlocking uh, this NFT. So it's going to be amazing. So what that does is on the secondary market, one of the things that's super cool is that you may unlock, let's say uh, there's plenty of people that have hit me up from the community saying, I'm buying four, I'm buying five, I'm buying six, I'm buying 10. Like there's people that are looking to buy to potentially get into like the $15,000 raffles that we're going to give away as well as, you know, potentially getting the opportunity to get into the main event, right? That they may have never dreamed that that could ever happen. This could be the, the potentially the time. Now, let's say for you, someone unlocks this opportunity to uh, to get a main event scene, and you can't make it to Las Vegas. Guaranteed, if you can find someone that will buy that off of you, I know people myself personally that will buy that off of you. Okay. That's that's a guarantee, trust, because I have a lot of friends that go to the main event every year, every, every year. I'm sure Long Car also has friends that go there every, every year, and it will be an easy. They're going to buy into it anyway. So there's opportunities here for some really big gains, right? And so I wish you all luck. I think it's going to be amazing. Now, this is something that I didn't know about until very recently, which is one of the most exciting things I've heard in a while. How many can anybody mint on the whitelist vip mint at the <laughs> what's the max what's the okay max? so it was five but because people were hitting me up saying dude why five why can't i buy more can't i buy more than five given that there's these keys there's these rares there's these huge opportunities why can i not buy more than five after talking about it with Drew and kind of like debating on whether like this is a good idea, I also have an advisor that knows so much about NFTs and has been in this space since the very beginning. I asked him, I was like, should I make this move? And I decided recently, and I wanted to listen to the community and we've lifted it. It is no longer, there's no longer a cap. So you can buy however many you want. There is a hard cap just to prevent something, I'm not going to tell you what the hard cap is, but you can buy, let's just say that the, the cap has been lifted. You can buy, if you wanted to buy a dozen, you can buy a dozen. If you wanted to buy more, you can buy more. But <laughs> the thing about it is. <laughs> let's, 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 let's try and get the actual number on the cap. Can I buy 12? Can I buy 15? <laughs> no, can I buy no. 20? Can I buy 30? Can I buy 40? <laughs> you can buy, you can buy a bunch. Let's just okay. say you can buy a bunch. Buy a because bunch. here's the thing about it. One of the main things that we've I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 the reason why is because it's only good for the community for people to be able to buy as many as they want, because it's only going to get us down the roadmap faster and get to all these benefits quicker. And the secondary market is going to be fire trust the secondary market. If we're minting out, like the, let's say we mint out first day or within the, the, within like 72 hours, the secondary market, and again, I, I say those things because I'm not sure. I'm like, it's unpredictable what happens. And I do want to reference to like some of the like some other projects that have done really well, just to kind of compare, kind of let you know what ha what happens, kind of normally in the uh, in the space in the NFT space as they as it's referred to, is that um, like one of them. I'm gonna I'm just gonna call out, I'll call out their name because I think it's a great project. Pitbull Poker Tour. They're also a poker project. Uh, I know the owner. We've done home games together. They minted out in one hour. They had four thousand. I think it's like four thousand four hundred, and they minted out in one hour. And and so what happens is when things when when projects mint out, what you'll see is that uh, the price goes up. Now his is uh, I think it's like 
like two and a half X from the start of when he, of the starting price. So the price, the floor price that they, they refer to is the floor price is the price of public mint or um, the, the lowest price that it's sold at. So what we're, what we're looking forward to is that the secondary market and, and we're putting things in place such as like adding those keys and, um, you know, having a, it's, it's an NFT hunt where you're looking to get, be able to unlock um, a World Series of Poker ticket or $2,500 in ETH. Like those things are put in place to drive the secondary market and uh, be able to look for the NFTs that you want. So this is a great question that I don't know the answer to. The magician in the house, what's up, brother? He says, if you have a whitelist spot, are you guaranteed at least one? Yes. The answer is yes. And that's why there is a hard cap to prevent, like we have our math down to whitelist versus, um, you know, volume. And we have a cap in place to make sure that everyone that's on the whitelist at least can get one. So, awesome. so awesome. when the March 17th, so translation, when March 17th comes down, by the way, haven't announced yet, but we're looking to doing a very long stream. I don't want to say anything, but Kingsful 24 might be doing a long stream prior to the pre-mint day leading up to the 17th to where um, we're going to just build some hype and uh, answer any questions, ask me anything that you want. So then you can be very comfortable with how to purchase and be prepared for the 17th because I know a lot of you are new to it. I want to be there prior to the pre-mint to allow you to ask, answer questions about like uh, how to buy it how to transfer funds into MetaMask, those type of things. So I want to be there for y'all. So JD is going to be drinking a lot of this leading up to the mint. He's going to be running on fumes <laughs> the day of the mint, guys. So make sure you check out know, man. King's Full 24 I'm gonna be psyched. on this channel. And uh, like you said, that's awesome you're going to do that, man. That's a, that's a great idea to be there and help people yeah. out. Like I know there's a lot of people that are going to be uh potentially getting into this that have never purchased crypto before or don't know how to you know just it's it's all new like anything it, you, you know it's if it's a new thing you just don't know how to do it it's awesome you're going to be there to guide and help people through this process so hats off to you for doing that man i don't know if we want to talk about like some of the other things that we that we're going to be investing in too um you know there's you know there there's there's other poker very big companies and in nfts and also not in nfts that have hit up the nut of society about doing some big things we're talking about on the coaching side we're talking about on the metaverse side we're talking about some big names that you all are familiar with that have hit us up and said nut of society we love it and we want to be a part of it and so we're in some really big discussions what does that mean to you? It means everything. That means that the Nut Society has is creating a great foundation for long-term growth. Yes. Yes. And there's a there's some stuff I want to say to that, but I don't think I can. So <laughs> right. dot, 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 dot. Yes. Yeah, dot dot dot. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, excited about that. There's there's some definitely some potential big things coming up. And uh yeah. yeah the ink isn't dry yet, but it's yeah. very it's very exciting what could be right around the corner for the Nut Society. I'll leave it at that. So yeah, there's also like celebrity pros that are interested. Just I'm gonna leave that at that, too. Just so you know, when I say celebrity, I mean celebrity. So just gonna leave it at that. Actually, Mike doesn't even know about some of that stuff. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll go from there. So I love you guys, man. You guys are great in the chat. I mean, this is such a you have such a great stream, Mike. It's a ton, man, this is great. I'll let you know Thanks that coming man. all the day, man. And yo, this is. We're going to open it up right now to my favorite part of this podcast show, whatever you want to call it. This is now the question and answer part of the segment. If you guys have a question that you're dying to know the answer to, you've been waiting to ask, or I even, I even saw some questions asked earlier that I kind of passed over because it just wasn't quite the right time to yeah. address those. If you have a question that you want answered by Mr. JD himself, now is the time to ask away, get your questions answered. And uh, yeah, let it flow, let it go. Uh, I did see what was a question right here a little bit ago. 
Um, some very basic questions. Yes, Ethereum does go up in value, up and down in price on a minute to minute basis. <laughs> I hope Dan Blazarian is not in one of them. Um, <laughs> well, I could tell you, I could, I can answer that. I'm going to say that he's not one of them, but, uh, and, but that's it. I just leave it at that, I guess. And JD kind of answered this with the video and with also talking about Joe Stapleton, the nutted society is not only linked to ACR. It's also linked to poker stars and other, yes, uh, other things as well. So it's yeah. not, it's not just a strictly America's card thing. It's definitely linked, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. to, Yeah, to to touch on that a little bit, too. We have home games now that we're implementing uh, both uh, both America's Card Room and uh, Poker Stars. One of the things, too, that I want you guys to look forward to is we're not just, um, you know, one of the things, important things that that just came to mind is that, um, you know, kind of the philosophy that I have for the vision of the Netta Society is that I'm not trying to take poker into the decentralized environment completely okay and what i mean by decentralized and i mean like i'm not trying to get us into the metaverse and stay in the metaverse not trying to take poker and and take it out of um the centralized state where it's like uh when i say centralized i mean like world series of poker right so for me i've been in in poker where it's been for the past you know, for the deck for the past three, four decades, right? Like I I love the World Series of Poker. I love poker after dark. I love uh, playing poker uh live tournaments, cash game, uh America's card room, um, online tournaments. Okay, those are all not on the blockchain, right? Crypto, they're not. And I don't plan on taking it out completely. I want to create for the Nut Society uh a, an environment that takes the benefit of both. The future is going to, uh, is incorporating the benefits of being on the blockchain. For example, for the nutted, uh, nutted poker league that we're going to have, isn't it? Uh, it's super exciting because we want to be the first to implement uh, wallet verification to enter into a tournament. So instead of buying in with, um, you know, ACR or buying it with, with US dollar. Now, what we're trying to do is wallet verification. You sign in with your um, MetaMask wallet. It verifies that you have an United Society NFT. Boom, you're in the tournament. No entry needed. You're already a holder. Um, we're going to do a lot more of those things. Eventually, if you guys have checked out like games like uh, Ice Poker, those things, those are things that we're looking forward to. Potentially, you know, creating a decentralized environment, poker room, poker casino. Those are the things that we want to lead poker into. And uh, Nutty Society is really just kind of uh, taking all of that in and seeing how far we can actually go and still enjoying um, a lot of the things that uh, we have enjoyed for, the, for many decades. And that's uh, the live environment also. That's awesome. Uh, a question asked a little bit ago. Scroll up through the track. I knew there's a couple of questions I skipped over. Vegas Jim. Vegas Jim, what's up, man? Vegas Jim asks, Vegas Jim. if you win the World Series of Poker ticket by the drawing through being an NFT holder, is it $10,000 cash or do you have to use that 10000 to buy into the main event? Great question. So uh, think about it as uh, if you've ever been to like the World Series and entered into an event. I have. I've uh, entered multiple events. Um, what happens is you can, you know, you buy into it with cash and then you get a ticket, right? So this thing acts as a ticket. Now, the thing too that happens is you can sell this ticket. So for example, let's say you have the $10,000 main event NFT, okay? What's going to happen is you can buy, use that as a double, as an entry, Um and you can also trade it. People can, will buy it from you um, as a ticket. I mean, it's just going to be work just like a ticket. So if you wanted to sell it, you could get $10,000 in cash. If you wanted to sell it for less, you could. You could potentially even sell it for more. For Because, for example, um, not only is it now an NFT that doubles as an entry into the World Series of Poker, but it's also a nutted NFT. So the value of it, 
more than $10,000 because someone that buys it from you that isn't already in the collection, now they get they reap, they reap the rewards of all the other things too. The two years of uh, minimum of two years of coaching, all the other giveaways, uh, Nutted Poker League, et cetera, et cetera. Awesome, 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 awesome. KDP now, what's up, man? He says, hi, JD. JD. First time caller, long time listener. With projects <laughs> having seen on Twitter and other social medias being rugged or money grabbed and gone, can you touch on what makes us different and to provide some reassurance to folks that may be looking at NFTs for the first time here or may be skeptical in it? Absolutely. That's a great question. And I love that question. It's not the first time I've been asked that. And it's it's great that people are asking these questions. And I encourage you all to always ask that question with every project that you run into that you're interested in. Ask them who's behind the project. I touched on this a little bit earlier. And the, one of the biggest things that you want to kind of look for, and some, and some people will disagree that um, having a project that's Doxed. Doxed is a term that refers to knowing the project owners, people behind it. Um, and so us being fully doxed, there's a, and rugging as you refer to it, because that is a term that's used. Rugging means that there's the rug pulled under you, meaning that you were tricked into buying something. And then the project owners just get out of here. Here's a great, I think this is going to kind of nail it, uh, hit the head on the nail. Imagine that I am putting my name on this, right? Someone that loves poker, has a reputation, has streams for a living, plays poker for a living, is part of America's card room, right? Not only am I putting my name on here, I also have a company that's called the Nutty Society LLC. You can look that up. I also have my ambassador, um, Ben on Drew, also putting his name on the line streamer, uh, professional, uh, pro ACR. And, and the list goes on. There's people that we're aligning ourselves with to make sure that we are accountable. So with that said, the short answer, if people want to know, is that, is there accountability? And for the Nutted Society, there's tons of accountability. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is kind of the only thing you messed up on, JD. You really messed up, man. You just fucked Uh-oh. up. You fucked up. Katie Pina uh -oh. says, is Lady Longcar going to be available for Mint? She's quite the oh. poker crusher herself. She's got to be twice the value of Michael Longcar. Much love, <laughs> sir. You missed out on the most gorgeous NFT there could have been, JD. That's the only fuck up you did. Excuse my language. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, did, did, I, I mean, I never, I ne did I say that? Wait, I, okay. I, this is like a, a no comment. No, <laughs> no comment. Um <laughs> You know, hey, you know, I wish, uh, I wish again. There's only forty. I wish I could. Uh, Can't win I wish all. I could get more. But you know, and then also one of the things that I wanted to let you guys know too is because uh, there's never anything that I'm going to ever do that's that's going to dilute the value of the Nutta Society um, collection that we have today. Okay, so that's one thing that um, that just came to mind just now, and I think is important for me to say is that. Um, you know, being accountable for the project that we're in right now, I want to be accountable to let you know that there's never anything that I'm going to do in the future to purposefully dilute the thing that you invested in today. Love it. And that's something I've loved about, you know, obviously I've, I've, I've tuned in a couple of times, even when you weren't aware of your streams and this and that, cause I was kind of busy with the fam and just wasn't able to type in the chat. But like, I love the transparency and the honesty of everything. And obviously it's, I think it's important to talk about uh, you know, NFT yeah. projects out there that have been rug pulled and, and, and your intentions have been very clear as to what you want this to be and what you intend for this product to be. I love that so much. So uh, me too, man. Yeah. Thank you. It's great stuff. Man. I appreciate that. Hells yes. Uh, Vegas gym. I won two world series. So, so there you go. So yeah. So if you already won a 10 K package, then you're going to want to look to trade, trade that uh, NFT. And obviously there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be Looking at that, um, if you do happen to pull the lucky 10K, uh, you know, NFT package. So, yes. Yeah. So, like, there's there's definitely, like, people that want to play the main event, people that want to flip it. So, like, two, a couple things that, you know, like, there's, there's different type of investors. 
There's the investor that buys and holds, right? And looks for a long-term return, right? There's, there's those type of investors. And then there's another investor that buys to flip for an immediate return, okay? There's going to be that too, um, especially for this collection. I mean, there's going to be value to where like, hey, you get to sell it to Long Car for 3X, you know, because you have his <laughs> <is the> blue hat <laughs> or whatever, right? Whatever you, you agree to. But anyway, the thing about it is there's going to be the holders and then there's going to be the flippers. And then there's going to be the third kind, which is uh, I think the smartest one, the holders and the flippers, the ones that buy um, buy something that they think there's value to where they can make immediate returns as well as hold on to one or two for the long-term benefits. So determine for yourself, which one are you? Yes, and obviously, yeah, like, like JD said, there's gonna be people that, there, there's gonna be people who are interested in like buying this and just being a part of the club and being part of the group, uh, the group coaching sessions for the next two years and in this for the long haul. And then there's people out there that are going to look to try and buy something at this price and sell as fast as they can at a higher price. And obviously, there's a bunch of different uh, things that you can do with this. Jabster says, what is the cap you will be willing to pay for your NFT long car with the blue hat? I need to know how much I can get for the event. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this answer. <laughs> so we'll just have to deal with that when it comes. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll have to throw in some some coaching, some personal coaching. Oh my god, that's can so you, funny. Can you, I have to I'm going to have to like shoot a video of myself when, oh my god. when I try and mint mine on the whitelist mm -hmm. just so that I can have the chance of catching the reaction I get if I'm able to mint the blue hat on my on my own. That would be like Oh man. I would I would literally feel like I have to go buy a lottery ticket that day if that happens. That would be uh that would be amazing. We're going to we're going to have a, a reveal day. We haven't determined the reveal day. It's going to be uh just kind of uh the norm is that the reveal of it is based on when uh like how the mint goes. So like reveal is a lot of times it's like a few days later or a week later or it could be like, you know, within 72 hours, we're all going to be minting at the same time. Okay. So it would be super cool. Um, I could see other streamers that have hit me up saying, Hey, when is, when is going to be the reveal for it? Cause a lot of, some people are familiar with how NFTs work and there's a reveal date and, uh, you can have a reveal stream, you know, like, Hey, these are, you know, we're going to, we're going to now put a reveal. Every single person that has purchased will now make it, uh, you know, everyone's going to see what their NFT is and it's uh, going to be super cool. If, if I sent you something right now um, in the DM, uh, Mike, would you be able to, would you be able to show it on yes. screen? Or? Slide in the DMs, okay. buddy. Slide in the this, DMs. This is a, this is a very cool, even, even the placeholder that you're going to get when you purchase is in my opinion, so nice. Let me let me let me send this to you right now. This is the reveal image. Look at that, bro. Oh, it's sick. Let me try and display this one second here. Un momento, un momento. Let me see if I can answer Screen some grab. other questions too. While you're that window also. capture. Discord, where are you? So that's a great question. Uh, so Gizmo Money was was saying, how many blue hat long cars are there? I am not going to. I cannot answer that question because um, it's. I, I'm not sure. Okay, and that's also me letting you know. Um, it's going to be rare. There it so is. So therefore, it's not going to be like a ton. Uh, just like there's going to be certain amounts of certain NFTs. And there's going to be more common ones that are going to be seen. But the guarantee is that you're never going to get the same exact one as another person. So check that out. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's the placeholder. Isn't that super cool? It's awesome. Like just the just the detail of just the placeholder. The hoodie right gang. There. The hoodie gang placeholder. Hoodie. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Um, and so that's what everyone's going to have before the reveal. And then everyone's uh, NFT is going to be revealed. Nice. So super awesome. excited. Yeah, it's gonna be. I, I can't wait to see uh, you know the different FTs and obviously the ones myself. It's gonna be cool to see, man. It's just it's awesome. I love and thank you so much for. It really is an honor being a part of this because obviously when I look at like, you know, the real legends that are a part of this collection. Do like you the, are a legend? Are you? Kidding I mean, you know, me? I mean, I'm I'm not a yeah. Doyle Brunson or a Johnny Chan. Or the, a, can we know, get some hearts in the freaking you know chat? Saying, there's certain levels, but I, I I'm honored to be a part of this group. Yes. Sure. 
Hearts in the chat for freaking legend long car, baby. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. This is going to be, this is going to be amazing. And um, I, we still have that giveaway too, by the yes. way. And so, yes, Roland um, Thunder, I believe you are just getting here. Obviously, if you're, if you're asking this question, you're just tuning in as of the last 10 minutes or so. The whitelist VIP pre-sale mint is March 17th at 0.12 of an Ethereum, which as of right now is Ethereum price is around $310. The public mint is on March 20th, which is 0.2 of Ethereum, which is, I believe, just over $500 at the moment. It's all based on what price Ethereum is obviously going to be out on those days. And then if you're not able to purchase one on either one of those mint days, well, then you got to try your hand at the second market and see what people are yep. valuing these at over the coming weeks after March 20th. And uh, that's yeah. obviously going to be very interesting to see. So and then, you, you know, that's kind of like how, if you guys have heard of like um, the board apes or even like the crypto punks, I think they're super cool. I mean, I can't afford one. Uh, I mean, and, and the board apes one is, I think it's like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars so for God. one Can NFT. Can you imagine buying one of those? Like when they first, Dude. they because they first came out, what was the original? What was the original price? It was like a uh, hundred bucks, dude. Hundred dollars. Yeah, God, that's so sick. Imagine Less that. than the nutted. Oh my God, buying hundred bucks board ape yacht club. This is buying ten of them, buying months. twenty of them for two grand, and now you're sitting on like. Oh, millions. there's people. Oh yeah, there's people that bought like six or seven of them in the beginning oh and just all instant millionaires because they held on. And, and here's the thing, this is not years in the making. We're talking about, this is less than a year ago, right? That board apes was at a very low price. Okay. Now it's half a million. There's some, I think the, the, I think the record is like half a million dollars for one. And, and a lot of you are thinking probably dude, that's ridiculous. Here's the thing about it. Um, I know some friends of mine that have that know friends of that have friends that have bought them. Like when they said that they had a board ape and someone offered twenty thousand dollars and they said no. Um, yeah. So was it ridiculous that they declined that? Because you know, later down the road they were able to sell it for one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So we're thinking, and of course we're not like we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but we're looking to be the board apes of the poker NFTs. We're talking like we're, we're going for, for goals. We have goals here. So just saying that's how, that's how the board apes came to where they are, became what they are now is because people, they, they have a term called aping in. (laughs) That's why there's people that just want to be part of it. Like Steph Curry, right? He bought one. You think he cares about the utility? No, <laughs> he's he has enough money to do whatever else, whatever utility is available. He just wanted to be part of the club, right? And one day, the nutted society be nutted society. People are gonna want to be nutted. So get nutted. <laughs> I, early. I love when you say that. Dude. Get nutted early. <laughs> it's so. We're gonna want to get nutted, it's baby. So Let's go. Yo, I just want to be nutted, bro. I just want to be nutted. Please. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Well, yo, thanks for coming on today, man. Thanks for coming man, on. Man, I had this so much fun. Amazing. I know this has been um it's been very informative and it's been fun. It's been fun, man. It's always I always have a great time talking with you and I'm obviously thanks, I'm looking forward to the March 17th uh, VIP. Too. I didn't know up until just a number of hours ago. I didn't know that the cap was lifted and obviously yeah. that yep. I think is a great move. I think it's a great move. Thank you, man. I like that a lot. I know, I, I know a lot of that. people are excited about that. I know a lot of people want to get their hands on a bunch. And I've got a few that I'm I'm going to be buying as presents for family nice. members that want group coaching that I just honestly don't have the time to give them. And mm. now I know that they'll be in the right hands with a lot of great coaches on a weekly basis. And this is going to be like early Christmas presents for me. I'm not going to lie. Like there's going to be this is certain awesome. family members. They're going to be given uh, another side NFT for me. I'm going to say, yo, like don't forget on Christmas Day when you don't get a present for me. <laughs> that, that this was the early Christmas. This present, was it. <laughs> uh, that I spent a lot more money on than a normal Christmas present to you, or should I say, a little more money than I normally spend on you? But it's worth it to me because of what it's going to give you. And oh, that's awesome. I think that this is an awesome thing to be a part of. So, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Let's uh, let's give away some whitelists, and yeah. also we can do that giveaway too. How do you want to do that, Mike? Yeah. So I know you're talking about the giveaway wheel thing. Do, is there a way I can do that? Or, uh, yes. Um. There is a wheel. 
I, I don't know if you have you used the wheel. I, I don't know if you have I've never used the wheel. I don't know anything about okay. it. Okay. Um, so I think you can copy paste, uh, do, uh, you know, ghost of M. I don't know if you're familiar with it at all. It's so funny. I, I take default to ghost of M and, uh, here, let me show you this, this link here. Let me link you this in the, in your DMS real quick. There's, there's a link there and you think I can link inside the, in the chat here that, or yeah, that'd be great. See, ghost says he knows the wheel. You can take everyone in the chat. You can do like a, a a copy, like whoever's in the chat, and you you can copy paste them all onto this wheel. I think is that how it works, Ghost of M? Um, I think you could do it that way. And essentially, instead of like manually entering, because that would be ridiculous, um, or you could potentially just, if you want to, you can do a randomizer number, okay, right. And say like if you do a randomizer and it comes out to like thirty or or fifteen, you can go to the tweet the tweet the tweet, and you can just kind of count down from first down. I do that sometimes for 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 Twitter giveaways. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's a quick way for me to go. Hey, this is the winner. Um, you know, I just did an RNG for twelve, and whoever was twelfth on tweeting, then yeah, you that's tell me. The Yo, this is you, you. You tell me. I'll do whatever you want me to do, man. You tell me what to do. Um, the wheel would be cool for the uh the tw- the twitter giveaway um but we could do a nightbot giveaway for uh 10 whitelists if anyone's uh if anyone wants to participate in that definitely some value in getting on the whitelist if anyone in the chat isn't on the whitelist this is a chance for you to get on there we could do a nightbot for that if you'd like um that would be a good one and i'd like you to you know before the before that we can also do that um that song the pump it up song too i think people will be get pumped for that yeah where, where, where's uh, it's on discord right the link you sent yeah the pump it up song yeah right there pump that up you guys ready to pump it up you've got to pump it up this is such our our uh home game was pushed about an hour but it's okay it's so worth it this is uh and uh, so anyone here that doesn't know about the home game get ready for the home game we're going to do it right after the stream and also uh we're also going to do um what is it uh we're going to do the twitter giveaway and i think that's it i think there was something else but i can't remember right now too much giveaways too many giveaways too many things yeah oh yeah join the discord Join the Nutted Society Discord. Do you have that link already? Or? Yes. Nutted. Exclamation point nutted. There it is. Yeah, there we go, baby. There it is. Okay, so yeah, so what what do you gonna do with the wheel, with the giveaway action here? I'm confused, JD. Talk to me. Um You are a mod. You're a mod here on, on my channel. Oh, I am a mod. Something. Okay. Um Well. Uh, why don't we just do like the wheel thing? I was thinking we could download. Let me see if I can download it. Mr. Myself. Bick, thank you for the biddies. Thanks for being here, man. And yo, thanks all for the subs. Thank you for the love. I don't, I don't, I, I, that's the only thing I don't like about this stream specifically is I love to give my shout out and loves to all my new followers, all my new subscribers, all my new biddy droppers. Thanks to all of you. I see every single one that comes in as the stream goes on. But obviously, I'm trying to make this a little bit more of a, you know, show if you will, rather than a little bit more, you know, and have more of a, a show type of feel rather than a Twitch stream type of feel, if you know what I'm saying by that. So again, thanks to all of you for the light, uh, for the follows, for the subscribes, for the resubscribes, for the bitty drops. I appreciate all of you guys. Let's go. Um, so why don't we start off with uh, just doing the um, the uh, the Nightbot giveaway all for right. the whitelist, and then I'll, I'll work on getting that wheel going. Let's do it. So what do you want the keyword to be, my man? Oh, geez. Um, how about uh, how about Nutted Society? <laughs> Let's go. Nutted Society. Enter that into the chat with no spaces. I'm going to type in the chat myself. Nutted Society. That is the keyword to give yourself a chance to win. What exactly, JD? A whitelist into the Nutted Society collection. There we go. To be able to buy on March 17th opposed to waiting and get paying a bigger price on March 20th. 
And as always, my subscribers here on Twitch always have a 10x chance of winning. Love that. The keyword Let's giveaways go. over non-subscribers. Very positive EV to hit that subscribe button here and support your favorite streamer. Or at least one of your favorite streamers right here with your other favorite streamer here on Twitch on the, on the couch. <laughs> but yeah, so make I sure you enter that. Nutted Society in the chat with no space. Everyone's eligible to win one of these whitelist spots for a Nutted Society NFT. And again, my subscribers have a 10x chance over non-subscribers. So get it, get it, get it. And if you're already a whitelisted, let's say you can end everyone that's already whitelisted. If you do um, are already whitelisted and you get selected, I'll allow you guys to uh, gift it to someone that you would love to have on the whitelist. And um, the way to claim this is to go into the Discord. So um, I don't know, it's an exclamation point Discord. I'm not sure. But if you guys get into the Discord, create a ticket. Um, if you don't know how to create a ticket, it's really easy. Just ask uh, one of the moderators. They'll help you with how to do that. Super easy way to do it. And now uh, we'll get you on the whitelist as soon as possible. There we go. There we go. Let's roll the winner. Let's roll. Did you do the, the pump? Did you do the pump it up already song? Let's play it again. Oh, okay. I did. Let's play it again. You can never have oh. too much pump it up. <laughs> get pump chat. Let's go. We're going to crank it up here. So, uh, Let's Rush. crank it up. Ha. I'm going to blow some eardrums out now. <laughs> Keep forgetting I can't hear the So what we'll end up doing is if you want to do an RNG, um, you have an under, you have an RNG thing, right? Like a just a number generator. Uh, I can get one here, yeah. Yeah, just do a number, and then um, and then whatever number. If you, I don't know if you want to show that on the screen, the number that it generates, and then we'll just count down from the tweet, the tweet from uh, whoever posted, and we'll count down, and then that's going to be the winner for the fifty dollars in ETH or hundred dollars if you're already verified uh, for the for the whitelist. Okay. Well, first things first, let's roll. How many winners are, how many drawing, how many uh, whitelists? 10 whitelists. We'll give away 10 whitelisted. Let's go. Let's roll them. Winner number one. So if you win, JD, how do you want them to, you want them to. Uh, Just go into the Discord and claim it by creating a ticket inside the Discord. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Winner number yep. one, the gutter cat. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Winner number two. Miri Albania, the newest ACR stormer in the house. Whoa, What's up, brother? let's go. He's been a part of my Twitch community since literally the first month of my streaming days, like over three years ago. Miri, much love, brother. I love that you are part of the ACR stormer group. Much love, man. Make sure you guys check him out on Twitch. And Rafiki, 1968, let's go. Let's go. How many is that, three or four? Yeah, that's three. I'll count for you. Okay, number four, Hubie 40, let's go. One of the biggest... One of the most awesome people in my chat because he's also a big part of my wife's stream, Lady Long. Oh, nice. In the chat. Let's go, Hubie. I like Hubie a lot. Cinco, Jamie Freitag. Let's go, my brother. That's my brother right there, man. Let's go, Jamie. Nice. Congrats. And I know Jamie. I know for a fact Jamie already has a whitelist spot open. And I was actually like, I know this is like his third white whitelist spot he's, he's already won. So you can give it away. He can give it away. Give it to a friend, and uh, I'll give you a kickback too. If you uh, if you're already on the whitelist, I'll kick you back. If you find someone that want that gets verified, Jamie, kick you back a little. Me. ACR. Jamie, text me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> number six, six. I'm the worst, man. I'm so like scatterbrained. Poker Gopher. Let's go, man. Love the profile pick. Love the shades. Let's go. And is this number seven or eight? Yep, number seven. Number seven. Yep. Luck Vex three o three. Oh, Luck Vex. Hey, let's go. He's verified also. He can gift it. Winner number eight, Mr. Bick, 805. That my guy right there. That's my guy right there. Let's go, Mr. Bick. Nice. Winner number nine. nine? Yep. Poker Lararn TV. Let's go. Yes, sir. Congrats. Congrats. And last but not least, Plans zero zero. Let's go. Oh, Plans has been waiting so long. Yeah. For that. 
congratulations, Plans. You got it. She's like, uh, am I going to, she's been trying to grind it in the chat and, uh, <laughs> and now you got it. Let's go Plans. Nice. Feels good, man. And again, exclamation point nutted for the nutted society discord link. Click on that link, join it, be a part of it. If, if for whatever crazy reason you didn't get a question answered that was addressed here on the show, you will definitely get it answered over there on the discord channel. That's also how you will claim your whitelist spot that you just won. Congrats to all 10 of you. If Again, if you already had a whitelist spot, you can gift it to a friend, you know, give it away to someone you know. And uh, yeah, man, feels good, man. And then let's, what's what's the next thing on the list here, JD? What are we doing here now? The random number generator? Um, yeah, let's just do a random number generator. If you want to, I, I don't know, I like to do things live, but if you want to, you just kind of show them the number that you pick and then they'll be, we'll count down from top to bottom of posts. And what are we and, doing here? Uh, one, one to what? Uh, let me see. There are, holy shit. Okay, there's 106. So we'll just do, we'll do 106. 106. Wow. Yeah. So from one to 106, let's generate a number. Let's generate a number. Good luck, everyone. 50 bucks. A hundred bucks if you're already verified. Good luck. Eleven. Uno. Eleven. Uno. Easy. <laughs> All right. Let me see. So here's the Twitter. Let's see uh, the tweet. I'm sorry, the tweet. And if we were to count down, go one, two. Did you say eleven? Eleven. Okay. That's a great number, Let's by the see. way. That's like one yeah. of my lucky numbers. Yeah, so the, the in order to qualify, you had to like, retweet, and tag three buddies. So let's I'm gonna make sure that if you didn't do that, I'm gonna skip your name. Okay. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let me double check. Okay, before I say the name that I did eleven down, okay? One, two, three. It's a great number. Number 11, Devil of Shrimp, baby. Seattle Supersonics, baby boy. And I think it is. Uh, so congratulations to uh, Simon. Uh, it is, the Twitter name is Prosto Zidar, which is Simon Simone Lupi, um, which is, I think I, I already know who that is, but uh, congratulations. If you're in the stream, congratulations, my friend. Go ahead and uh, claim it and, and uh, create a ticket inside the discord and you have i think you might be verified there you are hey, Simone Loopy. are Simone. you verified already tell me you're verified so you can get a hundred bucks let me know that you're verified already if not fifty dollars eth is still a great prize and uh you know we're, we still have six more days so being very oh you are verified, right, verified. Bucks. let's go let's go pump it up baby. i love free money let's go <laughs> Nice work. Uh, yeah, so create a ticket and uh, give us your uh, your ETH wallet address and uh, you'll get that today. So well done, my friend. Man, Mike, thank you so much for today, bro. Yeah, this has been great, man. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate you and uh, obviously looking forward to next Thursday. Let's go. Let's go, man. And you guys heard it again. Let's get, his, let's get JD's Twitch link in the chat. And I'm just going to add a command. I'm going to add a command. Add command. What do you want your command to be? What do you want people to put exclamation point to find your Twitch link? I've already got, uh, I've already, I, already, I already have exclamation oh. point nutted, which is okay. the Society to Discord, so it can't, it can't be that. Oh. Be anything else. JD. Could be exclamation point JD. JD. Yeah. There it is. Twitch. <laughs> TV forward slash Kings full 24. Hold on a second. Hold on a sec. Make sure to follow the always positive always <laughs> great energy jd thanks brother boom there it is exclamation Yo. point jd in the chat you can always put that link in my chat now to get that command with his twitch link and like he said he's going to be on there he's going to be on there marathon style the day before the mint so I'm guessing next Wednesday is when you're going to come on? Yeah. So the day before, I'm going to do a long stream. I, I'm going to I'm gonna plan for a 24-hour stream because um, I'm going to be so, so hyped that I think I can, I can do that easily. But minimum 12 hours leading into 
the mid date to be able to answer any questions. I'm going to title it AMA, ask me anything, and I will help you answer, answer any questions that you have about how to mint or even just questions about the roadmap. I'm excited about it. Yeah, man. Awesome stuff. And Mary Albini, Mary Albini, who is one of the 10 winners. So he says, can you explain? What? So if you were one of the 10 winners that were drawn, you won a spot on the VIP whitelist, which is the pre-mint. So you have the ability, if you choose, to mint a Nutted Society NFT at 0.12 of an Ethereum. To claim that spot, you need to go to the Nutted Society Discord channel, exclamation point nutted, in the chat for that link. And if you already had a VIP whitelist spot and you were one of the giveaway winners, you can give your whitelist spot to someone of your choice and um, let, I believe JD said, to let him know in the Discord channel that you are doing so, if that's the case. Yes, just go into the Discord, the Nutted Society Discord, and uh, create a ticket on the left-hand side. There's a uh, there's a link there or a channel there that says um, uh, support. That's how you create a ticket. If you're just not finding it, just go into the community chat and just uh, ask a mod, ask someone, and then they will tell you because this community is already popping and a lot of people already know how to claim things because we've been giving a shit ton of giveaways and having a really good time. So someone will help you out. Trust. And someone just asked how you can view the roadmap. I put the actual link just straight in the chat, the nuttedsociety.org. That has the roadmap on the site. Also has a lot of the pieces of art on the site. Kind of has a little bit of everything right there. So between the, the website and the Discord channel, you guys got everything you need right there to educate yourselves. So yeah, man, JD, man, appreciate you, my fellow nine one sixer. Let's go nine one six. Doxed you, man. again. Doxed again. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. This is the best. Uh, this is one of my, I would say, if not the my favorite stream ever. Uh, I really appreciate you, man. This is this is good good times for sure, man. So now the question is, how how much time? Do I have to dance around and juggle here until I raid you? I raid everyone over your stream. How long? How long is that going to take? <laughs> um, less than five minutes. I already got it starting up right now. Um, and so I'm. Let me see here. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're we're live right now. Done. Okay, guys. Doing we're gonna it. send you from here to him. We're gonna send you guys over to King's Full Twenty Four right now. The delayed, for good reason free roll home game that he is doing three times a week for the nutted society and jd i'll let i'll let you explain everything on your channel i'll I'll explain everything but yo so there's gonna be a total free roll home game going down right now we're gonna raid you guys off to kingsville 24 jd right here over on his twitch channel you can be a part of that you can win prizes you can win a whitelist spot jd will give you all the info in just a minute over there and again man yo thanks for coming on today man looking forward my man Thank you so much, and uh, have a great day, man. I'll uh, I'll see you on Mint Day. I'll see you in a f- couple minutes on your channel. Much love, brother. Much love. So, yo, that was, uh, that was yo, JD. JD, let's go, man. Feels good, man. That was an awesome stream. Thanks to all of you for being a part of this. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Hope you learned a, fi- a thing or two. And no matter what, I hope you were entertained and had a good time. That's the number one thing we do here on my channel. So, uh, yeah, that's a wrap for me. And we're now going to raid you guys off to my boy, JD. Shout out to him for coming on today. Couldn't be more excited about the Nutted Society collection coming out soon. And again, today's stream was not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research when investing in anything at all. And I hope that today provided you a lot of educational information as well as a bunch of entertainment. You guys are awesome. I'm going to raid you guys off now to Kingsfull24, JD. Enjoy his stream. Enjoy his energy. Enjoy his free roll home game on America's card room. And I'll see you guys in a few hours until then. Adios guys. If you liked this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, which is free. And don't forget to click the bell, which will let you know when any new video has been uploaded to my YouTube channel. If you want to catch my streams live, I'm currently streaming all day Wednesdays and all day Sundays over at twitch.tv under the username long car poker. Thanks for watching.